So, hello, day 12 in the life of Autocus Oclos, also called the Fogor or Silk Worm. Why? Because uh, you can say either yes, because we say it's the Fogor or Silk that is produced by Autocus Oclos, but Fogor is a name for the tree uh, on which the Fogor or Silk Worm is living. Like with a lot of other um, uh, caterpillars, they are named after the host plant they are found on, like in Africa the Mopane worm found on the Mopane uh, tree or the, um, the oak worm found on oak trees. So what is the Fogaro tree? This is a very difficult uh, question. A lot of scientists try to find out what is really the Fogaro tree. Mostly they say even though the, the Otacus Otlas is found in Southeast uh, Asia, mostly from India here, uh, over Bangladesh, uh, uh, Indonesia, to the southern part of China. So it is a vast uh, field uh, where it uh, can uh, live. So this is difficult to say what is the Fogara plant. It comes from Arabic for char, that's what mostly uh, is agreed upon. But then when it comes to the species of trees, it is very difficult. And we can quote Richard Piegler that uh, said that he found that around 100 different plant species uh, can be named as a host plant or a food plant for Autocus Atlas in 90 genera in over 48 uh, families. And interesting is that here in 2014, in a report from Maharashtra, that's in the southern part of India, it's written that Otlakus, Otlakus, Otlakus rearing is difficult in indoor uh, conditions, and they still try to find out which plant and conditions are best for uh, rearing them. So I think we are a little bit um, more advanced now in Europe because there are a lot of fans uh, of uh, breeding of moths and uh, butterflies. And I think they mostly found that Otacus Atlas is difficult to rear if it's not kept in a real high humidity uh, status. So what we find today, day 12, look here, we find very nice and already pretty big L3 caterpillars. They look more like under water slugs. The shape is really crazy. If you look at them from closer, I will show you here on this lens first and afterwards I will try to make some real nice macro photos of them. It's really nice how they look. Look, this is one here eating on that leaf. There's another one here. So they are still very, very well here. So look at this crazy shape of this... Uh, caterpillars with all this whitish powdered it's a it's like made from ice you know <laughs> it's really interesting uh, to see this bushel of white powdered spikes and some uh, reddish uh, spots uh, on the side. That's typical for this L2 and L3 stage. So let's see whether we find some more here. This is still an L2 here, so that would you see the difference in the size now. This is an L2 and that is the L3 of Otacruz Atlas. And the size now in the L3 stage, also here, or here, these are all L3. These are all L3 stage caterpillars now. They are now around two centimeters long, and it's really they look crazy, and they have their own fashion style. That's for sure. Look at them here. I think they are all still alive and well. So if I go here to this box, what we can see, of course, we now see the bigger uh, fresh pellets of the of the caterpillars. Here's another one. This is probably still an L2 here. And now let's go to the bottom of the box. What we see here, here is the skins of two of the caterpillars from the L2 stage. So let's have a look. 
this is just a very very small whitish leftover thing from the L2 skin and we see a lot of fresh pellets here so let's clean it out I think if it's difficult to rear a caterpillar best is to keep it as clean as possible and of course here because we know that they like humidity very much we should always eat, add some papers with uh, water so that uh, they never dry out like this and then try to keep them uh, clo with a closed lid with some holes I think this is uh, a good uh, method for them and then of course what I do I have some fresh uh, leaves of privet here also the discussion about the food plant is still going food plants yeah plural is uh, still going on and it's not yet clear uh, what is the best food plant in Maharashtra they found that the cinnamon plant the, uh, um, where, where the spice comes from the cinnamon uh, plant seems to be a very good plant for Otakus Atlas also so probably the cinnamon plant was named Fachar in Arabic and they say it's the caterpillar from the Fachar and the silk is the Fachar or the Fargara silk so it's always a long story if you go into names and especially with a caterpillar like this that eats from more than 100 different plant species so let's see whether we can add some Nice macro photos now of the L3 stage of the Fagora silk one.